This is gonna be, grab some tea or a snack, get comfortable. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff to show you. Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel and happy tw Rude. <laughs> Hello tribe, I hope you are all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to 2019. I'm so excited to be starting this new year with you guys. I have so much for us to do, so much for us to learn, and I'm super excited to be bringing you all along with me on this journey. So thank you so much for being here. If you're new, we do all sorts of spiritual videos on this channel. So if you are getting into a spiritual lifestyle, click that subscribe button down there, give me a thumbs up, and let's just jump right in. Today's video is, brrr, drum roll please, the most massive thrift haul I've probably ever brought to you. Um, this is my first thrift haul of 2019. I have accumulated lots of goodies. Why do people text me when I'm busy, but as soon as my camera's off, no one wants to text me. Like, that's just how it is. I don't even know. So, I've accumulated all kinds of fun goodies, and I'm really excited to share them with you. But before we start the haul, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about why I thrift shop so much. Um, I feel like the videos you guys see make it seem very like, look at all the things that I buy all the time. And it's not like that at all. I actually buy a lot of these items secondhand and sell them on my online stores to you guys. So I collect all sorts of unique bohemian spiritual decor, spiritual tools, crystals, um, and I do thrift for a lot of those things. A lot of the things are also from my personal collection. So if you guys haven't checked out my online shop, if you guys haven't checked out my online shop yet, I'm gonna leave the link in the description, but if you have the app called Depop, if you just search my name, Tayluna, you will find all of my goodies on there. A lot of you guys comment telling me that you can never find good things at your thrift store, so if that is the case, definitely check out my shop. I have very well-priced um, secondhand finds, and yeah, I just love recycling products instead of going to big corporations and doing that whole thing. So that's why we're here. <laughs> Hey kids, it's Tayluna from the future. Oh my god. <laughs> I just filmed a like Depop shop owner work with me kind of thing. I don't even know how to describe that, but basically the next video that you guys are gonna see that it's about thrifting and stuff like that is going to be more of a walkthrough of what I do in my daily life as a shop owner from collecting my inventory and going thrifting, to coming home and taking pictures of it, to then selling it and shipping it out. So um, I'm gonna be teaching a whole lot more about doing that stuff instead of just being like, here's a haul because it's driving me nuts. I feel like it's just not in alignment with like my goal of teaching you guys stuff. It's more like, here's a thing, here's another thing, here's another thing. And that's like not my goal. So sorry for all the rambling. Um, but I just wanted to put that out there, that it's coming up soon. I just filmed it today, so yeah, okay, I love you guys. Back to the video. <laughs> I also like to use a lot of my thrifted goods for craft projects, which you guys will see more of this year. So yeah, let me know if you guys are into thrifting, what kind of things you like to thrift for. Um, but without further ado, let's just jump right in. So I typically only show you guys my like spiritual decor pieces, um, but I did happen to find a few clothing pieces that I want to share with you. So I'm going to leave a timestamp if you're here just for the little decor um, because I will be keeping these things for myself. But yeah, I will just jump right into those first. I found one pair of shoes and typically with shoes at thrift stores, y'all got to be careful. You know, I don't know what y'all's feet be looking like. I don't like feet. Um, but these looked pretty new. These are a pair of Sinooks. I don't know if you guys have heard of these. They were like super popular for a minute when I was in high school, but they're basically like the most comfortable canvas shoe. This is kind of like an Aaron running shoe for me. You know what I mean? And they're like pretty much brand new. The soles are completely clean. There's not a whole lot going on on the bottom of them. So just do a little nice wipe out, you know, or throw them in the, I almost said microwave. Please don't do that. Um, sometimes you can throw things like this in the washer machine, but if you just wipe it out nice and clean, you should be good. Um, but yeah, be careful when you get shoes. These are only $6.99 and Snooks can run pretty expensive. So I was excited for these. 
All right, into the clothes we go. So I got this gorgeous top for $3.99. Some of the prices are not accurate because there was a 50% off sale on New Year's Day, which was amazing. But I got this gorgeous little tank top with some rose goodness on the boobies. <laughs> I really like how dainty and pretty this looks. So I'm sure you'll see that in the video soon. <laughs> the next thing that I got is a gorgeous swimsuit top. This is only $2.49 and it is a gorgeous like halter design with some designs on it. I'm really not good at describing things. <laughs> um, but yeah, it has like almost mandala kind of designs on it. I don't know. It's very like hippie kind of vibe so I dig it. Can't wait to wear that. <laughs> the next thing I got is this really cute cropped hoodie or like pullover sweater. This is actually from American Eagle, and I only paid $4.99 for it, so that's a steal. You guys are gonna see me living in this thing. You guys know how I am with my sweaters. Love them. I'm honestly just trying to do this quickly because my computer or my camera likes to stop filming. I'm having all the issues. So anyway, <laughs> I found this gorgeous dress with this like knit crochet detailing at the very top and um, there's like a little button that goes around the back of your neck and then it just flows down oh I feel like you'd see something like this at free people for like a billion dollars and what did I pay for it $3.99 I got a size large it might honestly be a shirt but I like to buy sizes up because I can easily turn them into dresses I'm literally like five feet I'm five foot two on a good day, but yeah, I get, I'm really small. <laughs> so dress it is. I love her. Next. <laughs> the next baby that I have is this really pretty coral colored romper, and it's off the shoulder, like a and it has some really cute like knit detailing, you know, all the things. The sleeves are a little flared. It needs to be washed. I apologize. Um, but yeah, and then it just goes down to your little shorts, like cute little romper situation. I'm a fan. How much was this? $3.99. If you don't shop at Goodwill, like what are you doing? <laughs> you're contributing to more waste on the planet and you're getting clothes for like, I mean these clothes are so cheap. Come on. This is actually not for me. This is for a friend of mine, but I saw it and I immediately thought of her. It is a tank top that says rainbows, unicorns, yoga. And this is totally my friend Becca. Um, I don't think I've done a video with Becca yet, but I'm gonna leave her Instagram down there. She's also an aerial. She's also an aerialist yogi like myself. So if you like to see my aerial arts posts and stuff, I'm sure you'd like hers too. But this is actually part of her Christmas gift, and I can't wait to give it to her. We're almost done, guys. I know clothes aren't that entertaining. This is not a beauty channel. <laughs> the next thing. <laughs> My hair is my lunch. Okay, the next thing that I got is this really cute, just plain cream colored knit sweater. You can never have too many of these, and I always find myself wanting to wear them and not having them. This is also from American Eagle. Um, I don't search for them by brand. I really couldn't care less about what the brand is, but just to kind of show you the things that you can find if you take a little minute to like search through those racks, because I know it gives me anxiety sometimes, but you can find some awesome stuff. This sweater was. This sweater was $4.99. Guys, this is probably 40 bucks at American Eagle at least, maybe more. So, loving her, can't wait to wear her. She's gonna be lit. <laughs> the next hat I got is super fun and I've definitely never worn anything like this before, so I'm excited to try it. But it's this beautiful, like tribal, off the shoulder tank top situation and there's some pom-poms down the bottom, but this is just the most gorgeous thing in the world. It's definitely like very tribal to me, which I love, so I can't wait to try this. And this is $4.99. I think this might be the last one. Yep, last clothing piece, y'all. You did it, we made it. Oh, okay, this is um, one of the pieces that I got. This actually is still brand new with the tags on it from TJ Maxx, so. At TJ Maxx it was $9.99 at wherever, it's a Billabong shirt, so originally it was $44.95. I got this brand new for $3.99. And on my half off day, so like 
amazing. Just go to the thrift store. I'm so excited to wear it. I love the design on it. Super, you know, boho, hippie. I'm very typical, so whatever. <laughs> but that is it for the clothes. I hope you liked those. Now let's just jump into the decor. I have literally stuff everywhere, so this is gonna be, <sighs> grab some tea for a snack, get comfortable. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff to show you. The first thing that I have is another accordion wall hanger. I know you guys saw this in my last video, but these are super, super poppin' on Depop. You guys really, really like these, and I have one hanging in my room, and I love it. So every time I see them, I grab them so you guys can have them too. I love them. They just hang on your wall, and you can pick how far out you want it to extend which is really nice, so if you have bigger items, you can really spread it out, but I love this. Super awesome for like apartments and stuff like that where you can't really install things, but if you can put a couple holes in your wall, you've got some storage. <laughs> Next, I have this really cute little glass box. You guys, these are all over the place. These are so popular. These are at like all the mainstream stores for like a billion dollars, and I got this for $1.99, so Saying. Actually, there was another girl who saw this when I was picking everything up and she was like, oh, is this yours? And I was like, yeah, girl, that's mine. You better not touch it. <laughs> Thrifting gets competitive. No, but I love this. Total steal for the thrift store because yeah, this would be like 20 bucks at any other store. So loving that. I like cute little places like that to store my crystals. It just makes them look more magical. You know, I don't know. Is this really cute coin purse or wristlet? if you will so you can wear it like this and have fun on your night out or whatever <laughs> but it's really cute you could definitely fit like your card and keys and all of that goodness in there but not have to take a big bag out with you and it's super pretty with all the fringe and the little star star she is so cute i love her thank you for being in my life <laughs> The next thing that I found is super interesting. It's honestly just like a slab of some sort of stone or crystal or whatever. So I got it just out of curiosity because I have no clue what it is. So if you know, it looks super colorful and pretty. Maybe like, it's not Lukite. I don't know what this could be. So I got it to do some, you know, exploring or whatever. <laughs> But yeah, I thought that was super cool. It does have pop, so it's like, okay, sure, I'll take it. Next thing that I have is this cute little star hook, wall hook thing. Um, you can use this to obviously hang like sweaters or purses or whatever. I would totally use this to hang my malas or rosaries or spiritual beads like that, but you could use it for anything and you can hang it right here on your wall. So love that, super cute. They have lots of organizational things at Goodwill if you take a minute to look around. <laughs> the next thing that I have is this really, really cute glass candle holder. It has moons and stars all over it. The glass piece has stars and then the metal has the moons on each side. And I think that that is just so beautiful. This would look gorgeous with the tea light just flickering in it. Oh, girl, I love this so much. So cute. The next piece we have is this really cool, almost vintage looking tea holder. And I have something similar to this in my kitchen, so I felt like this would be awesome to put in the shop so you could get something similar to mine. I store all of my tea bags and herbal teas in here. Not all of them, they wouldn't all fit. I have an addiction, but it gives you somewhere to store some of them. So I love this, the top pops right off. And yeah, perfect for storing all of your tea magicness. Okay, guess we're not gonna do that. <laughs> All right, this piece is really cool and I've picked it up multiple times and then put it back down and then come back to the Goodwill and gotten it, you know. It took me a few times before I actually bought it, but I knew I needed it. It's this really gorgeous marble, like, just marble decor box. And it's padded on the bottom so you can put things that are, you know, you can put crystals or like more fragile things in here. I just love this piece so much. It's so beautiful. The marble all the way around it is gorgeous. If it is marble or soapstone, one of the two, I don't know. But I love this. This would be perfect for like a travel altar, an intention box, a spell box, 
um, just to store your crystals in. I could go on and on and on. I love little boxes. You're gonna see more of them in this haul. <laughs> The next thing is one of the things that I will be keeping for myself. This is just a really pretty um, planter, I figured. You could tell it was handmade because of the little drips and stuff, which I love so much. So I'm gonna be putting a little plant baby in here. I'm not sure what kind, but <laughs> I'm gonna do a heart chakra healing video all about using um, your plants and watering your plants, taking care of them to heal your own heart chakra. So let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in watching down in the comments. So this next piece is super unique and I definitely looked at it a couple times before I actually picked it up and it is this really gorgeous abalone shell like plate or tray I guess you could say. This would be the coolest place to store your smudge stick. Um, everyone and their grandmother has an abalone shell for their smudge, except for myself. Why? I don't know, I kind of want one though. But this is super cool, because it's a flat tray, um, and there's different little shells inside of it. So this would be really cool for that, charging your crystals, using for, you know, jewelry or whatever. I just love this. If you want to connect to your ocean watery vibes, get you that. <laughs> I love that. And please, you guys, if you get anything from my shop, tag me in your photos on Instagram. I absolutely love seeing them and I love connecting with you guys beyond just you guys buying my things and me shipping you a package. I want to get to know you. I want to see how you decorate with it. I want to know all the things. So yeah, just let me know. My Instagram is at Tayluna shop, right? <laughs> The last thing in here is this really cute little wicker basket. The thrift store is the best place to get stuff like this. If you need basket organizers, just go to your thrift store. This was $2.99 and then half off of $2.99. So I had to pick it up. I love the braiding around it. She's a beaut. All right, we got one big box of stuff empty. On to big box numero dos. This is gonna be hard because I'm using my laptop, which is on the box that I'm taking stuff out of. So if I ruin things, I'm sorry. I have this beautiful beaded box that you can store. Honestly, this would be the cutest thing for like makeup organization because there's a little mirror on the inside. It is so cute. It's padded on the bottom. I just love this thing so much. I would have died over this a couple years ago. I love how like it looks. I just think it's so cute and girly. So yeah, this would be super fun for storing your makeup or a travel altar. You could use that mirror for, you know, meditating or, or spiritual work, whatever. But yeah, I just love this. It's so cute. And I like that it's padded too. Keep your goodies safe, you know what I mean? Mm. I literally have so many different variations of boxes. This next box I'm obsessed with and I literally cannot figure it out. So whoever gets this box has to do some homework for me. This is a freaking beautiful like wood carved box with designs all around it. The back is just a plain black, but all around it it's designed. And then you have your mirror on the inside. You have your obviously bottom of it right here. It's soft, but it's not padded, um, which is okay. You could use this as a travel altar and just, you know, don't put anything too fragile in it, but it definitely like has a secret compartment or something and I just can't get to it. So I'm going to do some exploring with this and hopefully I can figure it out, but hopefully whoever gets this can figure it out because <laughs> that would be really cool. So I just went through the boxes and we have literally so much stuff left, you guys. I'm probably not even halfway through, so um, I hope you're enjoying this long ass haul. Anyway. <laughs> so I already showed you that. I had to kind of reorganize a little bit. So the next thing that I have to show you is really cute. It's this adorable little hand drum that I found. If you into drum circles and making music and cleansing with sound, get this you guys it's so freaking cute it comes with a little mallet in the back and i am just obsessed with it it's so cute the next thing that i have is this cute little crescent moon photo frame and i have a couple picture frames left to share with you but i thought this one was really cute this would be adorable for like um a nursery or you know 
anything really, not just a nursery. I just totally get nursery vibes from it. I love this piece so much, it's so cute. The next piece I have to show you is definitely super fun and intense. I was so excited when I found this. I hope I don't blind you with the mirror. But it's this giant vintage candle holder and it has a really cute flower design on the top of it and then mirrors all the way around it. Put your candle right in here and then it just reflects back all the beautiful light of that flame. So this is super fun. You can hang it on the back. You've got all of your things that you would need to do that. So I thought this was super unique. i had never seen anything like it. I had to put it in the shop. So she's great. <laughs> The next thing I have is a adorable little tea light holder. This is a moon and sun candle holder. Um, the middle piece is all glass and then this is like a brass material. So very sturdy and then your tea light goes just out on um, this back piece right here. So when, it, when you light your tea light, you can see the light shining through this glass piece and it's gonna be so beautiful. I am so excited for whoever gets this piece. It's beautiful. So um, coming back to burning your smudge sticks, this is another alternative you can use to um, almost use like an ashtray with your smudge sticks. Please be careful with your smudge sticks you guys, it is fire. So make sure you have a safe place to put your, um, your sage out. I say that weird. But these are really fun to use too. These are like antique silver um, clam shell plate bowl things. <laughs> Um, and I actually used one of these for my sage stick for a long time. You have your little like legs on the bottom to hold it up and yeah, you just have a little bowl. You can put your sage out right there um, or use it as a catch-all dish, whatever you need. But yeah, I have two of them and I love them so much. I am stoked to show this to you guys and I'm just going to do it. I love it! This is a massive mirror. It has a sun, obviously, right here on the top, and then a moon on the bottom. Um, and you can obviously hang it on the back. You could probably even take the mirror out and put a photo in it. I didn't even think about that, but you totally could. Um, super unique, amazing piece. I don't know what else to say. I'm obsessed with it. It's so beautiful. So up next, we have another beautiful mirror. This is my, I think this is the extra large. Yeah. Um, this is like the extra, extra, extra large sun mirror that I found. It is so, it is so beautiful, you guys. I cannot get over this. The color is perfect. The mirror is in perfect condition. It even has like a little bar thing or wire that you can hang on the wall, which I find these to be like the easiest to hang with. So yeah, I got this giant massive extra large sun mirror and then I got the matching smaller mirror I actually have it hanging up there right now so I'll show you guys in another shot but um, yeah they're freaking gorgeous and like don't you need one of these in your life because I sure as hell do <laughs> things you find at the thrift store if you go frequently enough may surprise you all right, the next two things that I found are these really cute little elephant um, ceramic figurines. Elephants are like my number one spirit animal, which we're going to be diving into this year. Don't you worry. I know I've talked about it a lot. So leave me your animals down there. What animals do you want to learn the meanings of? Um, but elephants are really like my number one and my one of my best friends as well. So um, yeah, I love these so much. They're so cute. I hate myself. The next thing we have is this really, really unique like circle candle holder. I've had something like this before. If you've been watching me for a while, you might have seen it in a haul, but um, yeah, it's really unique. There's just four people in a circle like holding each other and um, in the middle, there's your spot for your candle. It looks like the person who had this before me actually used it to burn incense, which is really smart, like incense cones. So. This is really cool. I, I love unique pieces like this, and of course you can only find them at the thrift store. The next thing that I have, I actually have two of. Um, let me grab it, it's right here. I was gonna just have you imagine it, but I mean, it's too close, so. I got both of these really cute, tiny wicker chairs, they're like mini peacock chairs. 
Um, and these are used as plant holders. I mean, I mean, you could use them for like little dolls if you have doll collections or have you know a daughter who likes dolls that would be cute but most people use these on the pop floor plant holders and they are so cute so i got both of these they've been there for a while so i was like i guess i need to have them right i guess i do <laughs> why would i ever assume that with all the stuff i accumulate i don't know but you guys like them so i'm gonna keep getting them <laughs> The next thing I have is this really pretty piece of wall art. This is like a Native American embroidered, beaded. Um, it looks like a dream catcher and there's even some feathers in it too. So such a unique, gorgeous framed piece and of course you can hang it on the back. Um, there's little prongs that like stay out to the side. I can't explain it, but you can hang it up. <laughs> it's really cute. And I thought it was just super unique. This next piece is super cool. I'm gonna have to stand up and show you. It's a massive tapestry. So, and it's either a lady smoking a pipe or using a musical instrument. I don't know, use your imagination. It is like literally, you guys, the height of me. And then the back is just the reversed colors. How pretty is this? Oh, I love it. See, she looks like she's dancing. I don't know. You can, you can use your imagination on that one, but I love this. It is literally like 47 or 48 inches long, if I remember correctly. So, such a unique piece. Absolutely love this. I'm excited to see this decorated in somebody's home. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be beautiful. All right, I next have this tiny little sun mirror. Everyone likes the sun little mirror, so I always grab them. Um, so yeah, this cute little sun mirror, you guys see them in all different sizes, but um, you really like them, so I always pick them up when I find them. Um, and it's so cute, it's so tiny and it hangs on your wall. This would be really cute in a gallery wall, I think. So I'd love to see that. We're almost there, you guys. I've been filming for literally like an hour, so I'm ready to get this done. This next piece is super cute. It is a Pisces sign. This would be so cute on a bookshelf or a dresser or on your altar or anywhere for my Pisces friends. One of my best friends from high school, Patrick. Hey Patrick, if you're watching this, I miss you. I love you. Um, we used to make videos together all the time. He is a Pisces, so calling on my Pisces babies. This is for you. It just makes me think of him, so it actually makes me really happy. <laughs> next, we have this really fun, unique, tea light holder, there's a tea light in the top there, and all of the orders, um, if you guys order a candle holder from me, it nine times out of ten comes with a candle, just make sure to remind me, um, just in case, you know, you don't have any at home. So I thought this was really unique, and the quote around it says, with each new morning, we have a new brand, I'm sorry, I can't read, with each new morning, we have a brand new start that dawns fresh perspective and hope in our hearts. So I thought that was really cute and inspiring to light in the morning. Um, yeah, really like that. I think this is the last candle holder that I have. It's a super heavy duty carved stone candle holder. It is gorgeous. I love the detailing in this thing. You can tell how hard somebody worked on it. It definitely was hand carved and it's just beautiful. It's so heavy and well made. And yeah, again, it comes with a tea light. So you are all good to go when you get it in the mail. It's so cute. I love it. I lied. I have two more candle holders. <laughs> this one just has some fun designs. I'm sorry if the focus is a little bit of a little bit off, but this one has some fun designs all around the sides of it. I don't know where to hold it so you can see it. Maybe right here. But yeah, it has some really pretty designs all the way around it. And you could use this for a tea light holder or a ring holder or whatever you want. And then there's this gorgeous little star one. Of course, you guys know I love my celestial themed bangs, so I had to get it. But yeah, I love these. They're so cute. And brass. Love it. I also picked up this vintage unicorn pillow. How fun is this, you guys? It is so cute. I never, well, that's that's a lie. I do get pillows from the thrift store when I know that I can clean them and they're in decent condition. Um, but this one, I was just like, this is too unique to pass up. I really, really like this. The front has the embroidered little designs on it with the unicorn, and then the back is this really pretty bright teal color. It comes off more blue on camera. That's a little bit more accurate, I think. But yeah, I really like this. It's so pretty. It's gonna look beautiful in somebody's home with vintage 
items to accessorize and all the good things. So I can't wait to see pictures of this decorated in somebody's home. Please send me pictures, you guys. Oh, I would love to see that. My little home decor self, my interior designer, and deep down on the inside would like die to see that. I also have this really fun wooden heart shelf for storing air plants or crystals or whatever your heart desires. Obviously you can hang it on the back. This would be fun for like a heart chakra altar. <gasps> that would be cool. Ah, I love this so much. It's adorable. How could you not want that? <laughs> All right, you guys, we're getting down to the wire. I'm trying to speed it up for you. I apologize that there's so much to show you, um, but this is a little garden plaque, I believe. It says sunshine, laughter, and friends are always welcome, and I love this. It is so cute with a little sun on it. This would just look so cute in anyone's garden or near their front door. I just love how well, I love how welcoming and loving it is. It's so cute. And it's real intense, real heavy. So this is a good one. <laughs> I have one more of these little accordion guys. This is a wooden white one. It's a little bit more heavy duty and sturdy than the other one. Um, but I really, really like it. Get that aesthetic with your white color. Yes, queen, do your thing. I love her. She's a beaut. We've already talked about this. <laughs> okay, so I have three picture frames to show you and I'm gonna do it rapid speed because I have two more items after these and then we're done and yeah. I've just been filming for a long time. I have this blue photo um, picture frame right here. They already have like random things in it that I'll obviously change out, but I really like the design on the top and it's just a very unique picture frame, I think. So I will definitely do a gallery wall with this, I think. It's super cute. But I have that one. I have this one, which I actually have a larger version of already with the gold around the outside. It just makes your pictures look so pretty and vintage and I really like the look of that. And then last but not least, I have this white one because I don't have enough white um, picture frames. I have a lot of colorful ones, which is fine, but just to, you know, mix it up a little bit, I decided to get a white one and I really like the design. It's just really pretty. And I like having photos around my house. It just makes me happy, you know? Your loved ones are always around you if you put them there. <laughs> Second to last thing is this really cute random ass bird on a rose quartz that I found. I never find crystals at the thrift store, you guys. Very rarely. But um, I thought this was adorable and I actually just left it in my kitchen as a decoration and I really like it there. So she might just stay there. But yeah, I love when I find crystals at the thrift store. It's like a miracle. Okay guys, last but not least, I have a gigantic, ooh, she's heavy, a gigantic crystal shelf. There's a heart at the top and a bunch of compartments. This is larger than any other one that I have purchased, that I've shown you. Um, it was really hard to find a box that this would fit in, but I finally found one and I just love it. I love little shelves like this. They just make your pieces look so organized and um, if you have a large collection, yeah, this is the best way I think to store and display them without making it look like a crazy mess all the time. <laughs> Cause that's hard to do when you have a lot of little crystals just laying around. Did you feel me? That is everything for this massive first haul of 2019. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this inspires you to get out to your local thrift stores, do some digging, support some charities and some, you know, companies that you really love and believe in. I'm going to be doing a lot of more I'm going to be doing a lot more research this year about where my money goes and stuff like that with thrifting. So, if you have any information on that, please let me know down there. I would love to educate myself. But I love you guys to the moon and back. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you, yeah, in my next video. I love you to the moon and back. Bye.